Guys, we are about to watch the Mortal Kombat movie. You excited, John? I am so excited. So, here's the dealio. Hit that like button, subscribe, click that noti bell. This is reaction highlights. Can't show the whole thing. This probably won't even be monetized. <laughs> but we're making this just for you guys. Full length reaction, watch alongs where you guys sync up with the time code or over at our Patreon page where we got shows like Supernatural, Doctor Who, and a bunch of other shows as well. Try to read all these titles the best you can right then and there. Full length watch along for Mortal Kombat, Snyder Cut, some other movies as well are all over there. Thank you to everyone who's joined our Patreon page. Believe me when I say <laughs> that. You know, sometimes we do put up these videos that are not monetized, but you guys on Patreon help us bounce back every time, so thank you. And also gotta thank Lisa M. Esslinger for helping to edit these reaction highlights for us. She is the apprentice of Eric the Nerkarik, a man who normally helps us edit the reaction highlights for movies and TV shows. So, thank you so much, my dear. You rock. But yeah, guys, I've been doing so much research on Mortal Kombat leading into this, learning all about Guile and his partner losing, so that's why he has his vendetta with Bison, Ryu, and Ken, Ryu, and Sagat. Whoa, wait, dude, dude, dude. Those are Street Fighter characters. They are? Yeah. Were you one of those people upset that Chun-Li's not in this movie? Yeah. Ah, oh, what the fuck? I don't little kids in on it. Those <laughs> <laughs> kids would be the, the rat. It's <laughs> leaking secrets. Someone who sends Sub Zero's gang in there, huh? Yes. This is way too damn positive for what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> this is just the best, most idyllic day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is, it, is that a Kune? She was yeah. doing that with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a simple gardening tool. <laughs> really emphasizing it. Yeah. He will use this. I'm a baby. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh, it's like the Scorpion's Revenge cartoon. That's cool. Speaking Chinese, huh? Yeah. Hanzo Dokuda. Hmm. Oh. Did you any I like how the subtitles are making it clear which language you're speaking. Yeah. Ah, it does look painful. Damn. Jeez. Oh, no. no, dude. Oh, you know it's coming though. Damn. <sighs> Effort grunt. All that hard work. It's crazy. We're watching a Mortal Kombat movie. I know. It feels like a real movie. <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Oh. Yeah. Oh heavens. That is tragic. <sighs> oh. Yeah, they're not gone yet. I mean, it's him they want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, right. That's some cool revenge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting all my life to use this for this purpose. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yes. Oh. <gasps> Owie. Oh. <gasps> oh man. Oh man. Oh. Yo! Uh -huh. <laughs> he pulled him! <laughs> oh, you cocky ass shit. You're just meditating. <sighs> You're being a dick. <laughs> I was just wondering, can he understand him? <laughs> now finish him. <laughs> no. 
Oh, God. Ow. Oh, ow. That blood ow. Uh, oh! oh <laughs> This music. Oh, is that promo shot? He's gonna find your ass in the tournament. <laughs> no way. He's still alive. Yeah. Or is he, this, is, this is hell. Oh. Huh. Ah, how interesting. <laughs> Raiden. Come with me to the future, baby. <laughs> Sweet. Damn, who did the music for this? I was just wondering, man. It better not be Chunky XL again. <laughs> there you go. Hmm. Cole Young. Yeah, that was See? Cole Young. Wow, okay. Guess my predictions go true really it's early. The 17th century. <laughs> they just jumped like, forward. Just like made it really apparent right there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's good though. Yeah, yeah. that was good. Always. Did it say Citizen Cage in the background? Jack still got his arms. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna see yeah. that. Happen. <laughs> They should call this fight. Yeah, this guy's gonna die. <laughs> Who? Uh, sound effects, man. You're gonna do great in Mortal Kombat, Cole. <laughs> You're doing amazing. You might even think back to this moment. <laughs> Go now and kill Earthrealm's champion. He's gonna spend the whole movie convincing people of that. Guys, please, please just call me Sub Zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the one character in recent memory who seems to have just chosen his own name. <laughs> oh. <gasps> your, 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 your blood, your lineage, your man. lineage is coming to call you, man. <laughs> the twist is calling <laughs> you. <laughs> Gotta say, this movie's already pretty freaking entertaining, huh? Yeah, I know. And we've already got two fights. <laughs> Cole Young, the man that took the belt from Eddie Tobias. That dragon logo you got, I, I dig that, man. It's a birthmark. You serious? That line looks way better. It works way better that way. How'd he go? He was this close to beating him. This close. Oh, they still love him. Dude. You sure you're okay? Standing. I mean, you look pretty good, because all things considered. Yeah. <laughs> you look fast. Yeah, you don't look Must like anything's wrong with like you. <laughs> got my eyes on him right now. He's got the mark I saw. It. Sub Zero's coming to town. Oh, it's gonna have a name tag that says my name is <laughs> Sub Zero. <laughs> I'm Sub Zero. I'll be your assassin today. <laughs> Oh, no, not the ketchup. I can't wait to see the Corridor Crew video about all these ice effects. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh! What a dick move! Yeah! <laughs> if you harm one hair on her head... Leave your wife and kid! Yeah. <laughs> they don't get to come along! They're not chosen! <laughs> They don't have the mark. <laughs> you know, you would have been better off just sneaking up on them. I know. <laughs> you could have had them all dead by now. No. <laughs> Sonya. Like Sonya. What the fuck is that thing? Why does it sound much like tanks are sick on my ass? <laughs> no, it, it didn't. It's a good point. He's got the tattoo. It's a birthmark. I was born with it. <laughs> Take the truck. Get your family to safety. See, for some reason, I thought when we first see Jax, we could do a flashback when he lost his arms. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. 
Yeah, like this is when I first ran into him or whatever. Hold on tight, guys. We got a new car. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's gonna want this back? <laughs> oh no, it's coming. Yeah! What a great shot. Oh! Look at his outfit, damn. Six to us, motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no. Oh, here oh no, even though I know it's coming, I'm like, I don't want to watch it. I, <laughs> I like Jax's arms. Oh. Oh man, poor guy. Oh. Oh, gross. Oh. oh, there's bones sticking out. Oh! Ow! I will call you daddy instead of Sub-Zero. <laughs> call you whatever you want. <laughs> call you whatever you want, man. <laughs> he burned it. <laughs> He's lethal. Yeah, Jax is definitely going to need some, some cyborg shit to get through that. <laughs> God, we're not like 25 minutes in. This is so exciting. 43 <laughs> fights. I should go. Jax could have killed him. Jax is our best friend, man. <laughs> we love Jax's his car. <laughs> we didn't win nine straight tournaments by following the rules. Melina, let's finish this. Dude, that is messed up. Yeah. Okay. Front row was just you showing off. <laughs> you need to do that. You need the front row. <laughs> no one's watching you right yeah, now. He improvised that freaking Lewis Tam. <laughs> American music player. <laughs> Military drums. I'm Sonia. Model <laughs> slash military. <laughs> and not the other way around. He, he can't text right now. Uh, it's, he maybe has dictation turned on. <laughs> the target had the same marking you pulled. When Jax finally took it down, the dragon marking transferred directly onto his skin. I've spent years trying to figure out... Ah, okay. What is this? Do you have a visitor? Carefully, Bites. <laughs> oh, he really does have a prisoner. Okay. Can you know what? Can I? <laughs> what about you? Where's your marking? I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <I'm> off screen. <laughs> Reptile. <Yeah>. Reptile. <laughs> the Kano's about to step up. Ah. Yeah. Origins of the eye. Uh, grossy, gross, gross, gross. Ah, uh, clever. Clever. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, but that shot got cut down for the rating. <laughs> Kano wins! <laughs> Poor Cole. <laughs> he was just having a day. Yeah. <laughs> a couple hours ago, he was a normal MMA fighter. <laughs> Killed it. What are you doing? He's working on a Kano run. <laughs> Well, I Clearly, he does. Yeah. I'm a popular guy. Everyone loves me. No, no, no. Don't ruin it with the spit. You're gonna give that guy three million dollars? Fuck no. I live in this shithole. You think I got three million dollars? 
She wouldn't say it so loud. Your you special forces, you know better. Your shithole probably has paper thin walls. <laughs> yeah, I thought the window was open <laughs> yeah, for a second. The too. door's open. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the guy who plays Kano. Yeah. Mm. He's just dreaming about <laughs> Hanzo's you know, hell journey. Like you do. <laughs> there's a good amount of F words in this movie. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. <laughs> it's giving us everything we want. <laughs> Say thirty-five, there'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good ensemble vibe going. You jealous girly. Give me a little marking. Hey, talking to you. Uh-oh. Oh, fight number six. Come on, Sonya, you're a badass. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, she would whoop your ass. Nice, oh my nice. god, she would whoop your ass. Yeah, that's why you don't have one of these. You don't have the mongrel in ya. She's like Batman. <laughs> what only separates her from Kano is she won't take his life. <laughs> That's the Joker right here. <laughs> Liu Kang. <laughs> oh, this is going to be all about Mortal Kombat. <laughs> He's probably been trained with Raiden. Oh, nice. <laughs> they just let him have fun it's with fun. this. It's like you're Jim Jeffries in this movie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I knew it. It's all real. But these murals are the living history of Mortal Kombat. Oh, now this one really speaks. Ooh, that's got to be foreshadowing. This is our world. Yes. Shao Kahn. They murder her a lot. <laughs> They're a murdery, murdery world. It used to be called Murder Realm. <laughs> huh. Kind of reminds me of the Gaiman scene. <laughs> Some familiar. Ask a question, man. Yeah, man Just that's once. The time. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Oh my God, Jax made it to Raiden's oh. temple. He hitchhiked all the way there. <laughs> By the time I found Jax, I was too late. He didn't really find anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Earth champions biting the dust lately. The ice cauterized his wounds, it's crazy. Same thing that took his arms, also saved his life. Yeah. Give them time. Give them time to do some next level robotics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the remaining champions of Earth. I mean, you really just held open the entrance door. <laughs> yeah, they found you, my dude. <laughs> you don't even have a market. Hey, man, she's been kicking ass. Oh, damn. <laughs> An outward will gain control over Earth forever. Yo, you are not an optimist. Wow, you're not very cynical. He's right? trying to motivate them <laughs> by making them realize how heavy the odds are. Well, I'm willing to die for my family. I mean, all the other champions have died. What the hell? How is he so good at finding everyone? <sighs> he can probably communicate with the water or something. Oh, oh nice. Kong Lao! Oh, God, guys, dick move. <laughs> In the other shot, they were right next to each other. Then they cut and they were. Far, far. They were like, we got a haunted. Oh, <laughs> well, they gonna fight. Sub Zero's the name. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case anybody missed that. <laughs> Man, Shang Tsung and his team are a bunch of bullies. <laughs> could be shit. Could be, uh, could be a frisbee hat. You know, no offense to whoever you are. 
The point of your training is for you to unlock that power. Without it, defeating our world will be impossible. This feels like I'm watching an animated movie. Yeah, a little bit. It was just now. Love how Sub Zero Jigsaw just showed up. And yeah, I know. Not there anymore. Not there anymore. <laughs> yeah, that lightning wall is very effective. In a fighter without an Akana is a liability to the others. Yeah, liability. Way Dude. too traditional, Lou. Justice for Sonya Blade. What happened? You don't remember any of that? All you can do now is test your might. Test your oh, might! might. Uh -huh. Dude, don't go full all out. You might kill him before yeah. the Mortal Kombat. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm afraid you're gonna hurt him too much. I know. Wow, he has muscles. He uh. is really, whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Harry Potter, Sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, try down again. <laughs> <laughs> I just did the same move. <laughs> 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 it's like when you're fighting someone in a video game and just doing that same move. <laughs> Come on, Major. I better than that. Aw, it looks like Baby Jacks. Yeah. How's on? Oh, my arm hurts, man. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean, Jackson? <laughs> wow, man. That arm, that wound on your arm looks pretty nasty, boy. I'm wanted in over 35 countries for shit you fucking ballerinas couldn't even imagine. You're angry. Oh, fucking nothing gets by you, does it? <laughs> <laughs> you should be. You failure. Failure. Well, they're just trading him, huh? Yeah. What's Kano's childhood like? <laughs> it was really nice. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. Woo. That was it, wasn't it? <laughs> you all saw that. <laughs> ah, laser beam! Better than fireballs, you pussy! <laughs> He's <laughs> such an asshole. Oh, God. <laughs> Truth in you. Oh, well, Raiden's doing no trading. <laughs> He's over this. He's, He's upstairs. Like, We're gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> He's upstairs getting drunk. Hold <laughs> on. Mm. Cole. For centuries, the Hasash marking has passed down through your ancestors. I had a hope the power in your bloodline was too strong in you. No, I know that's not the case. My God, Raiden, <laughs> you are not an optimist. <laughs> that's that's their school of training. Just make them feel as worthless as possible until that Arcana wakes up. <laughs> Cole, do not give up on this. Sorry. Ah, oh, Cole, fail Mortal Kombat training. <laughs> And now I gotta live the rest of my life on the run. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Natara. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Now we shall end this prophecy once and for all. Outworld looks like a boring ass place to I know. live. What, what are you guys? That's why they want Earth so bad. Yeah. <laughs> like we gotta get out of here. It's rocks and a big door. Yeah. It's just rocks and purple gray. <laughs> we just stand around. Hell, you could turn this old temple into your own casino if you wanted to. Just name your price, then double it, then double it again. <laughs> what are you waiting for, asshole? So what would I name for this? Oh come on. Someone's got a, one security camera there. <laughs> yeah, it's of the Sanctum Centaurum. We don't have Wi Fi. <laughs> oh, it's Arcana time. Huh? It's Arcana time. Oh, 
Wait, are we never going to get to... We the actual Mortal Kombat. Better get to actual oh, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. <laughs> the tournament must begin. It's like we're over an hour into this movie. Oh no! Goro just showed up to his home. Oh wow! Oh no! Oh. I need to wear something yellow. Ah. Oh. Poor Jax. Dude. Oh no. Oh. Ah. Women fight women. <laughs> yeah, they have to. <laughs> oh. Ah. No. This is not the blood of the chosen one. Your death has no worth. Oh, what a mean Ooh. thing to say. Oh, what a mean. He's still good enough for me. Oh. oh. There's a lot of green. Ooh, cool. Oh. <laughs> Fatality. Booyah. Yeah. <laughs> Kung Lao wins. Eh. <laughs> Great ADR. Uh oh. No, don't hurt the thing Cole cares about. Dude, his family. Oh, oh there it is. Oh my god, he's getting a super oh, suit. He's gonna become Aquaman. Oh! <laughs> Use that energy. Ooh. Oh. Owie. Got even the score there had a little bit of the theme song in it. God. <laughs> Come on, Cole. <laughs> yeah, Dad, go for it. Yes. <laughs> No one makes me play my own blood. <laughs> <laughs> Still coaching him on the side. Oh, oh man. Kano gets one little laser beam and... <laughs> Cole gets an outfit, weapons, <laughs> energy absorbing power. <laughs> nice. Whoa. Good shit, Cole. Oh, shit. Wait, dude. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Oh. 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 <laughs> the degloving. Make the little girl proud. I love you so much, Dad. <laughs> Let me get blood all over you guys. <laughs> Best husband ever. Badass suit, Dad. His family just stopped questioning things. You know. He saved the day. Ever since Jack's came, I stopped questioning a single thing. <laughs> yep, not freaked out. <laughs> Just used to this life. Find your arcana, Jax. No <laughs> way. Oh my god. Dude. His arms <laughs> are arcana linked. Arcana can do anything. <laughs> I know. Kano's laser, Jax's arms. I was going to say, Arcana's gotten really good at like metalworking and electronics. Yeah. <laughs> His arms are spiritually linked. It's a doorway back. It's not over. It hasn't even begun. Yeah. Behind. It's sub zero. Guys, please. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know me, but we're rivals. <laughs> no, Kung no, Lao! No, 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 don't turn him into a prune. It's pretty cool that it's green, though, like the video <laughs> game. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Kung Lao. Where would the hat go? Or just the hat one with them? I, I guess. Shansung cannot follow us here. We live here now. All is lost. 
Kung Lao better like claw his way back out of Shang so at the end. We need to fight smarter. We need to split them up. Give me Reiko. I got a score to settle. How do you know his name? <laughs> <laughs> this is cool to go to like fighting levels. Yeah, yeah that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's I like that. That's that's neat. I know I've seen you kick his ass before, but he's got a laser now. Watch out for that. Oh, I got an idea. Come on, Sonya. We save Sub Zero for last. We take him out together. As a team. Cole's the leader now. Dude. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. here we go. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, these motherfuckers work. <laughs> yes. Oh. That was so gross. That was the most satisfying head explosion I've seen in a long time. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, 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 there you go. Gnome! No! Oh! <laughs> Um, Poetic. <laughs> nah, she gets it. Nah, there you go. You earned it. Hell yeah, Sonya Blade. Now the fight begins for you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry that I cut you. Yes! <laughs> cool! They brought it to life. Yeah. Bring the dragon! Yeah. Bring the dragon! <laughs> <laughs> well, how do we make this flow? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Hey! They gave it to her. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Oh, Shiva's gonna show up. <laughs> Freaking uh, Sub Zero, you slasher villain, you. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> he is this whole movie. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, Jim. it's his gym. Yeah. Damn. Oh, oh, fuck no. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> cue the music. Yes. Nice. That sounded good. I learned English in hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, Scorpion. I mean, Sub Zero learned English too, so. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> A little blood, blood splat on the sword there. Oh, there yeah. it is. <laughs> oh. That's cool. He did one of his frozen duplicates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's got to be flashing back. <laughs> oh, nice. Working, working together. Don't just give up, man. Backs against the ropes. Come on. Oh! Oh. oh! Do a finishing move. Nah. He deserves the final kill. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> and managed to work it in. Is he gonna get dusted? Hmm. 
I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> I don't know what any of that was about. <laughs> I grew up in Chicago. <laughs> This will do it. <laughs> <laughs> he needs more blankets. <laughs> My days fighting for two hundred bucks are done. Now you're finally quitting, huh? Yeah, uh, something like that. Where are you gonna go? Hollywood. Hollywood. Johnny Cage. Yeah. It's been fun. <laughs> oh my God! They got Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> You That's what I noticed. I noticed it earlier. Yes. Fight for your rights. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Oh, yeah. And then we get the 2021 updated remix. Hey, look. We got mics. Oh, we're back. So, uh, yeah, we actually shot that reaction a little bit ago. And in that time span, we put out our immediate reaction review where we got on our phone and you can watch that video. All that being said, and I mean this sincerely, because I know we like had a lot of positive say that we had a lot of criticisms to say. All that being said, I think for laying the groundwork, setting up the seeds for a franchise, for a part one installment where you can do a part two, take more time, do what you really want to get, expand the runtime, make sure you can uh, really flesh out the characters that much more. And it ends on a note that gets you excited for a sequel. And I think it ought to get a sequel. And I, think, I still think it deserves one regardless. Mm -hmm. And it was great as someone who is half Asian to see a bunch of Asian representation on screen. It was awesome to see. And there was one white guy for me. One white guy for one John. One white guy for me. <laughs> wins. Even though I definitely have my criticisms about it, I think it's a great step in the right direction, especially for video game movies. And it's really freaking, it's fucking entertaining. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like, entertaining, all they, right? It's they, really entertaining. They hit the mark yeah. about as much as they needed to. And yeah, this seems like a good solid step in the right direction for video game movies, but still with room to improve. Kind of kind of like Tomb Raider in the sense of like the Alicia Vikander one. It's like, it does a lot, gets it right. Could be a little more unique, but you know, this is a yeah. good start. And I would love to see a sequel, yeah. End of the day, what all you guys were saying in the comments of what you wanted a movie to deliver on, 100% it does. And then there's other stuff around it in terms of filmmaking and storytelling that you can criticize. But great first step. Oh, and I mean that sincerely. With Snyder Cut, we put that at the end of our part six of the Snyder Cut reaction. I thought it was like a cool full circle. And then uh, then I regretted that. And I was like, that's kind of <laughs> stupid and a waste of time. It's just like inserting an older video. I, was like, I, I didn't see any complaints about it. <laughs> but, <laughs> but in my personal opinion, I thought it was stupid. So I was like, all right, well, why don't we just like add a little bit more here, our general thoughts on it. Because like we actually shot on the phone while the credits were rolling way past the credits. It was like, talked for like 24 minutes. And then the video that's up on YouTube was like 13 minutes. And in that time frame, we covered a video that was comparing 19 1995 to 2021 and then we even cover new rock stars easter eggs and breakdown videos so we've kind of talked a lot about mortal Kombat yeah, yeah, so yeah. far so i'm like what, what can we really add to here right now that we haven't said before because i know there's some people who haven't seen those videos and there's some people who've already seen it so they're like what's the point of me sticking around <laughs> so i guess for this one like what we can talk about is like in our non-spoiler one that we put up on youtube already i feel like we mainly lean into the positives of things you know like the action actors brought a lot of personality i think there's a lot of cool camera work here i do think the choreography tops the 95 movie Despite what I've seen some people say, <laughs> the choreography specifically is what I'm talking about. I think there's a lot of very inventive things with their action scenes. And even watching like the new Rockstars breakdown made me appreciate the attention to detail that much more. That's sprinkled in throughout that I, I feel like I overlooked even mm. during the reaction. And yeah, the gore and the violence is really great. But I don't know, maybe kind of use this time to maybe dive into a little bit of, I don't know, how, how little gripes it that we couldn't really go into detail about. So yeah, let's see how this goes. I watched the movie again. So that way I was like, well, how do I really feel about this movie? Like, do I really l like it a lot? And I, and I would say that I would get this movie like, I want to say like a 6.8. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah, I'd yeah. probably go a little higher than you and maybe go at like a 7 or something like that. Like, you know. Wow. 7 <laughs> or a 6.8. Yeah, man. This is a real pitchfork of a oh, debate right Jesus here. Jesus Christ, John. <laughs> Jesus. All those po those two beast. tenths of a point are real significant. <laughs> you beast here. That's right, man. Um, and I, I feel like, I mean, the short version of, of, like, of the review was that we 
I, I personally really enjoyed like the for everything leading up to Raiden's Temple. And then like the first few minutes here at Raiden's Temple, and then it was really the stuff there. Hmm. Up until we finally got to the finale with like Goro and then yeah. Shang Sun and Sub Zero, like when we're starting to get into like the level battles and all that stuff. After Cole Young gets his literal plot armor, after <laughs> all that happens, uh, it was like in between there was where there was like chunks and little bits and pieces that I, I wasn't a big fan of, and and it dawned on me in the second viewing what it was, and and I've mentioned this in another video was that the world here should feel bigger and it yeah. should feel more lived in and on the second viewing i was like this this kind of feels like a play with mortal Kombat characters yeah it's like we keep talking <laughs> about big world events end of, end the, of world the world and world. fighting fight for earth around so our world doesn't take over and i think to the scene when shang sun is like the great natara prince goro cabal it was if there's like a legend behind these people yeah i'm like but all i see is them and i yeah. don't really get the presence or what influence that, that legacy or, or, yeah. that formidable <laughs> presence isn't really felt beyond the titles yeah, yeah. and like without world i'm like is this a dude all you r rule in is is out or like the movie we should communicate it some people go well you should play the game so that way you like really totally you know like you understand what's going on well i'm like well it's not exactly 100 percent based off the game though cole young's not in the games like, <laughs> a little arcana thing's a little ridiculous like with jack's getting his like, <laughs> cyber art like to me the movie uh, is incredibly i think the movie is really fun like the first 40 minutes i i do think is uh, is really fun even when the dialogue is weak and when it's cheesy or just super on the nose i have a lot of fun when i watch this movie and the gore is entertaining as hell. I also say someone said in our watch along on Patreon, it's like there's not that many action scenes unless you're counting like, these little <laughs> squabbles. Like, okay, you know what I would say? Any moment that is like more than 20 to 30 seconds that involves you know fighting like blocking your camera and choreography and stunt work maybe there's not full on action scenes throughout but there's a lot of action i would say yeah throughout you know yeah 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 there may be a lesser count of like full-on focal set pieces that take up several minutes on end or whatever but it does feel like throughout the movie there is action and getting from place to place usually involves a skirmish of some kind so yeah if you want to split hair perhaps the actual set pieces are less numerous but there's it still felt to me like they packed the movie with action like they never went too long without action oh no there's there's little bits even in raiden's temple it's like we're gonna go train like, for a while gonna train. We're gonna just like pair people off yeah. that's what i mean like the training to me didn't feel like anything too special yeah i felt like the training ought to have felt more special like it didn't feel urgent uh yeah i guess that's a good way to put it i just feel like the actual training in and of itself like that's what i mean there's bits about it that i like that are pay homage to the game like when Liu Kang keeps sweeping Kano's leg. Yes. That's super enjoyable. <laughs> yes. Or when Kano is uh, heavily provoked by Kung Lao, uh, primarily at the dinner table and his arcana unleashes and his laser eye comes out. I really love that scene. Raiden, to me, I'm like, you got Shang Sun, who is the representation of Outworld. And then in Earthrealm, you got Raiden. But Raiden kind of just feels like he doesn't even want to be in the movie. He feels like he's <laughs> over it and he doesn't have any faith in his team, except for maybe Liu Kang and Kung Lao, and he's left everything yeah, up to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah I, like I personally, and, and this can be said, I think, of a lot of the different characters. Like, I liked that actor. I thought he brought presence. However... Yeah, Raiden isn't that much of a character, and it feels like a lot of the guidance and a lot of the tutelage that ought to come from a character like that, at least in the way this story mm -hmm. is set up, does, again, fall onto Kung Lao and uh, Liu Kang especially. Yeah. I mean, like the first, this, this movie's kind of misleading from its opening scene. <laughs> because the opening scene, I think, is still the best part of this whole movie. Some yeah. are going to say the Kung Lao fatality, which is the best fatality. I mean, yeah, but yeah, yeah like the opening scene is a full on scene sequence. Yeah, yeah that, that opening scene gets you emotionally hooked mm -hmm. into Hanzo, his family. I thought that was captured very well. And it did feel like you're watching like a historical martial arts drama. Yeah, like a martial arts epic. Yeah, know? and I like the subtle use and the de attention to detail on, uh, uh, oh my God, I'm blanking on his name right now. I know it's Sub-Zero. but Bihan. Bihan, yeah, yeah. damn it. <laughs> uh, with Bihan and like the subtle use of, of his hands, like the ice coming into fruition. Like I really, 
love that opening scene. It's great. And then I think it's really fun up until we get to Raiden's Temple where it kind of feels like it slows down uh, quite a bit when we're there because the the training sequences feel like I think the action is very inventive, but in, in Raiden's Temple, the, the training is not that inventive. That's how no. I put it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also I feel like those scenes are there to give an excuse to create more matchups between characters who are on the same team. So oh, we do training so that they don't have to actually fight each other for plot reasons. You know, we give the fans yeah. some service that way. How However, yeah, I feel like if they had made those feel a bit more urgent or or colorful or something, like it does feel like we're sort of biding time until the next part of the plot kicks in a little yeah. bit, which undercuts just the oomph of some of that, even though the scenes individually, the, the matchups and some of the banter is still amusing, you know? Well, it's mainly spliced in with either a lot of exposition or just the, 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 the basics. We need a get out of the way yeah. <laughs> for uh you know like some little character things like oh Jax is sad about his arms uh you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else is kicking ass right now and he's just over here recovering and Cole Young um <laughs> having a lack of faith in himself I, I really feel like this could have used like an extra I I heard there was a lot cut um, I believe that it, and it, it feels that and the second viewing I was like oh yeah I could feel that there's like a lot of things that could have really helped let this breathe yeah and be fleshed out and, and there's certain scenes that feel like they were supposed to continue <laughs> uh-huh yeah and I mean it when I say that I I think that they should get a sequel and I feel like they can definitely improve upon it I just want to be able to have instead of being told so I'm being told a lot about the world I'm not really feeling the world it kind yeah. of feels like they filmed a, a, like a, a really good looking fan film Hey, yeah. I, mean, I mean, you look, go back to our interview, and I mean, that's pretty much what uh, uh, Greg Russo, the writer, even said was, you know, they basically let us make a big fan film. And in some ways, I think that is a good thing because there are some of those really fan servicey pulp and classic yeah, MK yeah. elements that come out. But also there is like I was thinking during this conversation, a another thing about Outworld that I think could have been improved upon is the fact that to me, every time we cut to Outworld, it feels like we're cutting to a desert on Earth. And and I feel like mm -hmm. to really feel like this is like an other realm of existence, you know, parallel to our own universe or at least adjacent to it. Like I felt like they could have made it feel somehow more sci-fi. Like I thought they really kept the kung fu, like the martial arts movie, the martial arts action movie stuff going pretty well. But having it be, you know, I think that's something a sequel could improve upon in a realistic way. Because I feel like in a lot of ways this movie has the thankless job of going, okay, Okay, this can work in a way that's not going to be a meme and that people can take at least somewhat seriously and this can set up for a legitimate franchise. And so I feel like that's kind of why we wound up with a story about Cole Young, regular human MMA fighter guy thrust into this world and then has to save Earth with the rest of the Earth people. He's our cipher. I feel like maybe what the ideal Mortal Kombat live action I movie. I didn't need that. I know, but I'm saying, uh, no, 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 yeah. I, I know, <laughs> and I think the ideal MK movie would be something more akin to the Scorpion's Revenge animated movie, which takes, like, there are similar plotting elements to how that movie needs to sort of solve its problems and even bookending aspects of, I mean, that movie has a lot more of the Scorpion Sub-Zero story, and also it has twists upon that. I feel like, you know, for the average movie this goer- This is John's way of telling me he finds Finally saw Scorpion. That's okay. right, dog. He just wouldn't tell me beforehand. He just, he it's, just we take so like, many things oh, in. Yeah, I've already seen. Well, yeah, no, I'm like, like I, this is you finally I, all the Mortal it, Kombat movies and videos you put out, and this is your way of finally telling me you saw. I, <laughs> Like, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> Next time I'm gonna I'm gonna text you the second I finish <laughs> something like this. Um, but no, I feel like for a lot of fans out there who are already familiar with the game and already saw the original movie, like for all the people who aren't uninitiated and in need of convincing, I feel like that would have been the ideal Mortal Kombat movie. And there. Are, bits and pieces of this movie that do sort of resemble that and I feel like because there's all this debate about like if you know the games really well you'll like it and if you don't I don't know but I feel like that was the whole reason kind of, of like because the, the, the Cole Young protagonist basically feels like a thing the studio needed to have in order to appeal as broadly as possible whereas if you just threw it in like a fantasy martial arts epic that it truly is you know that's a harder sell off the bat I feel like well I th 
I but. think like some of the cinematic storytelling angles have more flavor and tone and personality and more life to them in in the games. <laughs> like Absolutely, the, the actual no, cinematic that's, scenes. That's the irony is that in doing this, they create a plot line that is kind of like a '90s b- video game adaptation because there's always like, oh, we got to put like a regular human protagonist yeah. for us to cipher in with, and yeah, it's like ironically, I don't think they need it as much these days because well, you know, yeah, I think sometimes it can fall a little bit flat because to be honest the stakes of what mortal combat like what mortal combat mm-hmm. represents i'm not talking thematically like <laughs> what actual mortal combat is yes i don't feel those stakes at all no the the movie's trying to avoid having mortal combat <laughs> and i think like that would have helped telling the audience beforehand that mortal combat's not gonna happen in this like like i saw 3c films review of mortal combat and he just tells the audience like look there's no mortal combat in this movie yeah like, you don't actually go there and like you've seen our reaction I, I, I don't know if it's in the highlights or not but i remember being like damn it's kind of disappointing we don't actually go to mortal combat and they don't fucking prep you in the in the marketing or the lead up to this that it's a pre that it's supposed to be like a prequel to mortal combat or, or setting you up going to the event the movie's called mortal combat you think you're going to the tournament and they keep talking about this tournament that i don't feel like like you're just saying like the most generic stuff when we cut to Shang Tsung and Outworld about fucking like taking over Earth and I'm just yeah, like I yeah, don't really yeah. feel the why behind so much like I, I'm knowing the goals I'm getting the end goal about everything but I don't know why to care it about these seems... people or why the stakes are big other than the generic of like we'll take over Earth but I feel like there's like five locations in this movie so yeah. like <laughs> and it's weird because Shang Tsung seems both over it but also kind of desperate he's like I don't want to do we've won all no, like nine consecutive mortals combat and uh, I don't want to do this last yeah. one I want to cheat my way out of it so I can avoid it entirely and it is perhaps my biggest gripe about the movie although I feel like with that out of the way it'll be very easy perhaps in the next movie to just go right to mortal combat yeah. and to really be in the fantasy of that and to maybe expand upon that you know I'm in conflict with the characters at, at times when I'm watching this because you can have two versions of this movie you can just look at it and go it's fun Mm. Uh, it's entertaining and yeah maybe if you do play the games you'll appreciate it more or maybe you'll get upset by some of the things they change you know (laughs) (laughs) i I don't know uh, which way as a as a game player you would you would go about this seeing some of the the costumes brought to life i feel like there are some actors who bring a lot guy plays jacks i think it brings a lot scorpion and (laughs) sub-zero a plus casting in my opinion Uh, i think they're solid top notch Mm 100 percent, more than just they're fighting like they're perfect they chose, yeah, it's they, funny that they, they don't have as many acting scenes because those guys can both act as well. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted a live action Scorpion's Revenge that had a little bit more dramatic heft. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean. What I wanted. Yeah. But, but, you know, like, I got to be honest about Louis Tan. You know, like, I, I don't think he does that good of a job in his acting in this movie. Like, I think, I, I think some scenes he's fine, but then there's other si- times where it really feels like beginner's acting. And, <laughs> and I, I think if you're in. Uh, you know, he's, he's a better actor than me, I guess. But but if you're the lead of Mortal Kombat, you're the lead <laughs> of a Warner Brothers movie, I think I, I expect you to be better. <laughs> like, that's kind of just my mentality about it. That's not and, unfair. Like, especially what it really dawned on me during the, the like the more high intense emotional dialogue delivery times. Like if it's if he has to be, be kind of cool and deliver his like when he's hanging out with his daughter in the beginning or being a little cold, you know, like a little rough, you know. Badass, yeah. but when he's like, has to get like high intensity when Jax is like, get in the car, and yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, what's going on? Or when Goro shows up, his d- acting in the bigger scenes and the the scenes that require more like more emotion, yeah, <laughs> the, I I don't think he does uh, that good of a job in those scenes. I I yeah, I can't entirely disagree. I I, I do. A- his I find his charisma appealing, but he does seem suited to the kind of movie this is trying to transcend. And so I yeah. feel like it partially fits because the movie is partially that movie where it's, you know, you're taking this fantasy and you're crashing it into like, oh, yeah, again, Earth protagonist, regular guy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, surrounded by all these other more colorful characters and especially on, you know, returning to the film, he does get sort of drowned in the color and in the little nuances a lot of the other people around him bring. Well, I don't know tone. Sometimes I think the movie is a little bit uh, at odds with itself tonally. Mm. When it wants to be like really committed to providing more nuance, the beginning, 
the final fight, the Kano, uh, Kung Lao going toe to toe with each other scene. Like those moments I think hit. And mm-hmm. then there's other times where I'm like, but wait, are you, are you trying to also be like, fuck it. It's a fun movie. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, the... Sometimes I can't tell. It's like that first opening scene sets you up for a very different tonally. Kind yes, of movie. It does, yeah. And then it's transitioning you. It's like when you cut to Cole Young, it's not, like goofy it's still serious and weight like i really like the pulse of when you know sub-zero shows yeah. up and then Jax is like shows up and they're all the oh, way to get and that's what i mean when it gets to raiden's temple is and then you're cutting back fortune raiden's temple and outworld yeah. is when some of the drag starts to be felt and the world starts to shrink mm-hmm. and I, I that's like my my biggest complaint about the flick is that it, uh, it actually becomes less interesting to me. It then becomes fun again in the finale, mm-hmm. but it, it, there's that middle chunk where I'm like, you're telling me a lot of information, a lot of wooden acting here, mm. and the fights are all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the Sub-Zero Scorpion stuff is like the best part, but it's also not the most prominent part of this movie. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although, I mean, it does certainly leave a, a better impression. Like, it, it didn't, I, it didn't leave me upset. Like, I was pleased with what we did get, and I certainly wanted more. Uh, and I hope that in the sequel they will find a way to do more. And I'm sure that there are, I mean, there are ways within the lore that that can happen, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if they find a way to recontextualize Sub-Zero so that it wasn't really him or whatever, you know, in the events of this movie. Uh, what? What are you talking about? I don't know. What are you You're talking about? You're trying to just fit in some Scorpion's Revenge plotline stuff here? <laughs> is I'm not it? trying to show <laughs> off my knowledge of that movie. I was just like, this is a relevant time to bring yeah. it. I, I don't know. <laughs> this is like, this is a relevant time to talk about it. It's clearly evident and, and, that Sub-Zero is the one who killed uh, Scorpion's family in this one. Yeah. Uh, on behalf of Shang Tsung, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah. But they can always retcon things. <laughs> sure, why not? We only saw that opening scene from a certain perspective in this movie. I think it's trying to like it's trying to have you care about so much, but like I, I don't think the I don't think that's another thing with Cole Young. I don't think he has chemistry with anyone. Yeah, that's also fair. I mean, he, he kind of has these, chemistry with his daughter, but oh, everyone else, I don't think he has chemistry. With a lot of the character, and and that's part of the hitch in the get along is that a lot of the other cast at least kind of does form an ensemble, or at least they'll have chemistry, they'll have a rapport, or pairs or whatever. But I, I heard somebody say that one of the flaws in this movie is it doesn't feel like it has a protagonist, and I can kind of see what they mean. Like part of me goes, well, it's sort of an ensemble, but then I'm also like, well, it's also trying to thrust a specific protagonist onto you, and I, yeah, I don't think it. F- lands truly on one of those things and i feel like that kind of tampers with the emotional resonance too oh yeah i think there's a lot of poor scripting um in terms of like structure because like you got hanzo who gets killed off in the beginning and you get like these cut twos of just like these little flashes Mm. of uh cole young seeing him in hell Oh yeah, and then he just comes back at the end for a fight, and I'm like, "There's not a real. I really want a real build up to to the Sub Zero and Scorpion fight. You're just kind of like, I saw it in the trailer. When's it coming? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know? And I wonder if if that was ultimately something that changed a lot over the course of the production too, because just the things like that, like that, like oh, just put in a flash of Scorpion like every ten minutes. You know, feels like a studio note to be like, oh, we're building up to this thing that we all know is coming. <laughs> yeah, I think. I, I had more. F- it's weird to kind of just throw this into the reaction video, but I, I had more fun the first time I watched this movie for sure. I think it shows That's in the reaction. Fair. And the second time I watched it, where I'm like, all right, I know what to expect. I know what I had fun with. I know I definitely had some criticisms. I want to be able to feel a little bit more of those out so I can kind of talk about them. And I mean it. I'm not just saying it. I, I think that they could do a sequel that would be much better. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think they have like the groundwork to do it. You got a lot to build on, yeah. Yeah. And they get a, there's enough in this movie that works and that is cool that yeah you could easily. It, it's like I'm not concerned. Me, Cole Young is like the Danny Rand of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> Except he can fight. Except like. like Except he can like, actually sell the. Like fight. Lewis Tan, ironically, is in Iron Fist, and and he has like a scene stealing scene. Like he mm. he can act. The guy can act. 
Okay. I'm not gonna say Cole, I'm not gonna say Lewis Tan can't act. He can act. I just don't think in this movie he does a, that great of a job. Okay. But I think like in the other stuff I've seen, I mean, he could definitely act. Mm. I think it's important to stress. No, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and I mean that is a, an important element because I feel like in a lot of ways, yeah, if this same team was to make the next movie, I would feel like okay, pretty competent hands because as what this movie is, I think it's it's made you know like pacing or or, or plotting issues aside, just the the construction of it physically is really sleek and punchy and well done and so yeah if we could fix uh, that character element because you know there, there are a lot of directors certainly who favor the visual and the aural over the actual you know acting and subtext or whatever but yeah I mean I feel like that's something that could be built upon and hopefully doesn't need to rely as much and as heavily on just the actors bringing the personality yeah. to the characters yeah. I think the emotional meat underneath just needs to be felt more you know, yeah, the bones of that that just that needs to be felt more because all that stuff can be pulpy too. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be like the most world gripping problems that these characters have. It doesn't need to be like a a story about grief in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You no, know? but I, it's hard. It's hard to know what my heart should be attached to or feel for or care for. in like uh, I don't know how. Like this movie is like a little under two, two hours. hours yeah. Is a little under two hours. But you got like 14 characters in here, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. But you can pull it off even in that time frame, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, but it's like... I mean, this is longer than I would have expected a Mortal Kombat movie to be. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like probably like an hour and 40 because of the credits. Yeah. Uh, but still, not only are you introducing a bunch of characters, you're also trying to introduce a bunch of lore and a different world. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. You got you got jam pack in here. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, after, after a certain point, you're like, where does my heart really belong mm-hmm. here? And I met at like 70% with each... Each, 60 to 70 percent with each character and not i'm not 100 percent invested in any character that's fair and i think for mortal Kombat, it's important to have at least one you are really latched into i think it's important to have at least one mm-hmm. you know because like yeah i think the visuals are cool and the fighting's cool and all that jazz and there's some funny moments and like i said overall i was i'm still entertained throughout even when i, I think it's the only times i get a little pulled out is, is when like my critical brain does kick in yeah. yeah you know it's like as a as like a silly popcorn movie i enjoy the hell out of it but mm-hmm. uh it's also not fully going for that so i yeah. think it lends itself to be criticized on these other sides as well it's like you know when you're watching the movie that guys why are you really trying to judge this you know what this movie is yeah but, but this movie i think goes out of its way to try to be more and that's where it can you can be aware of like you're not succeeding at that yeah so i'm it's a little in the out. middle <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it, it gets <laughs> caught in the middle of being yeah. like like a, yeah just like a kind of schlocky action movie that knows how fun it wants to be and then also being something of serious weight yeah, like the crazy new yeah. mystical fantasy landscape world of mortal Kombat, where we only feature a play of characters and not. <laughs> it's like even like the background levels on video games you'll see like characters in the background or shit like yeah you know? yes, <laughs> i'm moving around and yeah yeah detail and maybe the training just should have been more special other than just generic <laughs> let's <laughs> fight and Let's hope your arcana comes out yeah. yeah that's what it felt like <laughs> <laughs> all right guys well mortal Kombat. what did you guys think of this movie did you overall uh enjoy it 6.8 for me seven for john leave your thoughts down below subscribe click that notification bell hit that like button check us out on patreon and we'll catch you guys soon thank you for being here <laughs>